Hello and welcome to my gold making guide for the Burning Crusade Classic Leatherworking. This will be my first professions gold making guide for the Burning Crusade Classic, so feel free to let me know what you think about it down in the comments after watching it, and let me know what I can improve on. In this video I will cover how you can make gold with leatherworking, as well as how to skill it up just so you know which items are in demand and why they are in demand. So even if you're a skinner, this right here could be a great way to understand how to make gold with skinning as you will know exactly which materials are needed by leather workers to skill up their profession. That being said, this video is about leather working and leather working has insane potential in the Burning Crusade and you can make steady gold with daily sales from items such as drums and leg enchants, but you can also make some big ticket gold from bigger crafts as you can literally craft best in slot armor both for yourself and for others. One quick note is that if you want access to endgame gear, you also have to be willing to put in the work for it, as many of the best in slot craftable items are either locked behind reputation, or they are actual drops from inside the raid. Some of them are BOE, so you can sell the recipes and buy them, others are bound on pickup so they can't even be sold, so to have access to all of the recipes and maximize your gold making, you need to do some raiding. Here's a quick list of patterns you can actually obtain, some of them are world drops from as early as phase 1, others are drops from raids such as Black Temple, Tempest Keep, and the Sunwell Plateau. So leatherworking actually keeps getting better and better as we move through the expansion, because you get access to new and better recipes for every raid tier, keeping the profession relevant throughout the entire lifespan of classic TBC. That being said, how can you make gold as a non-raider with leatherworking? Well, it's quite simple. Well, first of all, you have armor kits. Many different armor kits, in fact, like not hide armor kits and heavy not hide armor kits, but also cleft hide leg armor and cobra hide leg armor, and the next tiers, which are the nether cleft and nether cobra leg armors as well. These will be wanted by people constantly and will provide leather workers with a steady amount of sales on a daily basis. You also have several different drums that are used in many different scenarios, basically a semi-bloodlust that used to be very overpowered back in the Burning Crusade, as these drums did not have a cooldown. However, Blizzard is reworking this for classic TBC, so they won't be as overpowered, but I would imagine you can still make some gold by crafting and selling them, and stack that gold on top of the leg armor gold that should give you a decent amount of profit on a daily and weekly basis. On top of that, you can also make some pre bis gear early in TBC as a leather worker that I actually think will be incredibly profitable early on, and the funny thing is that you can actually obtain these recipes somewhat semi-passively while leveling. Basically, there are some pre bis items locked behind friendly, honored and revered reputation, both from Hellfire Peninsula, Terracar Forest, Sangar Marsh and Nagrand, and you can get most of the reputation needed for these sets either by questing or spamming dungeons while leveling. For example, if you run Blood Furnace from level 60 to 62 or 63, you should be well on your way to revert reputation with the Hellfire Peninsula faction, and thus you will be able to buy all of the recipes needed for that set. So basically, by leveling effectively and getting to revert reputation, which you will want to do anyway to unlock heroic dungeons and raided humans, you can actually make a ton of gold as well, and I would imagine this could be a secret gold mine for leather workers early on in TBC, as people will absolutely pay a premium for pre bis items, and anything locked behind reputation automatically increases the profitability of that item because there is a barrier to entry for crafting it. I should also mention that the leg armor that will give you a lot of your daily gold and weekly profit from leather working is also locked behind reputation, and the epic versions are locked behind exalted reputation while the rare versions are only locked behind honored. This means that the faster you get to exalted reputation with the scenario and expedition and Thralmar or honor hold, the faster you can sell the epic leg enchants and the more gold you will make. These are also the reputations you will want for the pre abyss armor crafting, so obtaining as much reputation in Hellfire Peninsula and Sangar Marsh as possible is absolutely vital for a leather worker and can make you a lot of gold. Now let's also talk about how to skill up leatherworking and which materials you will need in order to do so. 
so you know the initial investment you will have to do to get started with leatherworking, or just so you know how much leather you will need to gather, as it is quite a huge amount. So to skill up from 300 to 310, you want to craft 20 knothide leather from knothide scraps, and this requires 5 scraps per craft, which is basically 100 scraps in total. From 310 to 320, you will want to craft 10 wild vanish gloves, which requires 9 knothide leathers per craft, making it 90 leathers in total. From 320 to 325, you will want to craft 5 thick vanish boots, which requires 10 knothide leathers per craft and 50 leathers in total. From 325 to 335, you will want to craft heavy knothide leathers, which requires 5 knothide leathers per craft. Heavy knothide leather requires a recipe to craft, and this recipe can be bought from several vendors with a limited supply, so getting to one of these vendors as soon as possible will give you monopoly on this craft and make you even more gold from the craft itself. And just to skill up you need to have this recipe, so the earlier you get it the more safe you are, because these vendors can be camped and they have a limited supply. From 335 to 340 you want to craft 5 thick vanish vest, which requires 14 knothide leathers per craft. From 340 to 355 you will want to craft 15 fell scale breastplates, and then from 355 to 365 you craft 10 heavy cleft hoof boots, then from 365 to 370 you craft 5 fell stalker bracers, and then from 370 to 375 you craft 5 drums of panic. There's many different things you can craft, but this would be the simplest route, and the most easy one to go for I suppose, and the, the lowest cost one, so the most affordable one as well. And let's just cover the total materials required to level up through this route. So to level up through this route you need 100 knothide leather scraps, you need 420 knothide leather, without counting the knothide leather needed to craft the heavy knothide leather for the 10 skill up points between 325 and 335 skill, as that is a little bit RNG but you should add between 50 and 80 knothide leather to the total maximum, so 500 knothide leather should be good. Then you also have 80 heavy knothide leather, which basically means 400 more regular knothide leathers, then you have 200 thick cleft hoof leather, 75 fell hinds, 30 crystal infused leather, 40 primal earth, 20 primal air, and 10 primal shadows. So just to skill up leather working, you see there's a ton of leather you need. There's different things, you need fell hides, crystal infused leather, there's thick cleft tooth leather, there's heavy knot hide leather, and there's a ton of primals as well. So you will have to spend a lot of gold if you want to hit the maximum skill right away, as many of these will sell for a premium the first couple of weeks, but basically this is what you need. And there it is guys, my leather working gold making guide for TBC Classic. I try to keep it as simple as possible, while also including all of the valuable information, but the basic recap is to grind reputation, obtain recipes, and craft leg armor, drums, and raid gear. The importance of reputation cannot be stated enough, but even as a casual player you can grab some chunky profits by getting that Thralmar or Honor Old reputation to revered from either grinding Hellfire Ramparts or Blood Furnace, and slash or just questing in Hellfire Peninsula, and by getting to revered you can sell the entire pre abyss armor set. Once you get to Exalted you can also start crafting the Epic Leg Armor, which is epic. For more gold making information for classic TBC, you can join my Discord server through the link in the description, and ask any questions you have about gold making over there, as we have a huge community interested in gold making in that Discord server. I also have a Patreon where I will give away some extra gold making advice for TBC sporadically, so if you want to go the extra mile and get a little bit of extra gold making information in return, feel free to check out my Patreon as well which is also linked in the description. And yeah, that is basically it for the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, if you have any suggestions as to what I can do better for the upcoming profession gold making guides, leave them in the comments down below, and don't forget to click that subscribe button for even more classic TBC content. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I'll see you again very soon.